o'clock. NBC 4's Jonathan Jackson spoke with city leaders on what voters can expect to see on their ballot. Jonathan. Well, guys, in November, Columbus voters can choose to say yes or no to multiple bond issues or charter amendments here in the city, all of which could have a major impact in Columbus in a number of ways. We need to be investing in ourselves and our infrastructure. Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther is asking voters to consider approving a $1.5 billion bond package in November that he says is designed to improve the city's infrastructure and affordable housing. This is a way for us to invest $1.5 billion in ourselves, make our city safer, healthier, uh, provide more housing without raising taxes, and we think that's really important. The bond issues on the November ballot include $300 million toward health, safety, and infrastructure. 200 million toward recreation and parks, and another 200 million toward neighborhood development, 250 million toward public services, and 550 million toward public utilities, all of which he and other city leaders say are important in sustaining Columbus's community for years to come. These issues affect the way that we are able to provide critical services to our residents, keep our community safe, have culturally competent folks serving us. Columbus City Council President Shannon Hardin says, in addition to the five bond issues, there will also be three charter amendments on next month's ballot. He says these amendments will cover increased transparency during elections, along with modernizing city government and promoting further diversity hiring in the city. This will give the flexibility to take people's backgrounds, to take people's live, lived experiences into account when putting together a full assessment of someone we want to either advance or hire into the city. Now at this point, we have not heard from any groups who are against the bond issue at this time. Also, city leaders again want to reiterate that this will not increase property taxes or impose any new tax, but instead be funded through the city's revenue income tax, as well as the water and sewer bills. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.